All right, guys, we're outside. It's time for another run. Hey guys, welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. Guys, we're here to share our fun, love, and passion for all things Disney with you guys. So thanks for hanging out with us today. If you're brand new to our channel, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and a share. Yep, so today we are on a run, or <laughs> actually for us, it's tonight, but we're actually gonna be sharing this whole week of our process with you guys. Oh, we just got notified that we need to run. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. But tonight we're actually doing things a little bit different and that is is that we are doing a 19 minute run yeah, right so the 19 minute interval for running and walking instead of 16 minutes 16 minutes is what we should be doing but we're supposed to be pacing on <laughs> saturday and snowmageddon five to 80 inches of snow is coming this weekend this is what happens when you get to 69 degrees in March in Colorado. Yeah. The snow smacks you down. Yeah, so five to 80 inches. You heard her right, five guys. Five to 80 inches. Yeah. Like above my head, snow. <laughs> okay. So who knows? I mean, it's there's so many uh, weather variables out there right now. It's kind of too far out. We're trying to plan ahead. Um, so that's kind of the biggest thing right now is for us to say, all right, if we can skip one day to start with we might make it tuesdays thursdays run thursday we're gonna pace saturday we're snowshoeing babies yeah so if it actually if we get that much snow we definitely want to go snowshoeing yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's something that we've had the equipment for years and you know we only pull it out maybe once a year and i think this yeah, is the one this time the this year that we're gonna do it because we we'll have it. way more than enough snow to do it but right now there's really not a whole lot going on with any kind of snow just maybe way off there in the distance couple of the uh, the foothills have a dusting but that's all gonna change this weekend well, sorry, Thursday. <laughs> there's a storm a coming yeah in Colorado we don't have snow events we just get snow <laughs> so they're saying we haven't had this much snow since 2003 which we weren't here for that no so it's like every decade ooh, there's two. just a massive dumping of, uh, of snow and in the, Denver, which in is the normal. Front, yeah, well, the front range. Yeah, that's normal for the mountains, but not the front range. Right. But that's why we're just, like, again, trying to plan ahead, make sure that we get the runs in, and, we don't, and we don't miss our pacing. So yeah. that's why we're doing this tonight. <laughs> it's a little bit tougher than we were expecting. We're doing it. But, we're making it. Yeah, we're making it, for sure. We're not dead. <laughs> um, but it is, it is a little little bit of a push but i think that we're still able to carry on a conversation which we should be while we're running walking yeah which they say we should be and so that's good we're about halfway through our run right now we'll see how it ends up but i'm feeling really good i'm feeling really good too yeah getting kind of hungry <laughs> luckily we'll some, dinner's right after this all right we have some really good stuffed peppers Ooh. with some turkey and long grain rice mm. yeah let us know if you guys want the recipe to that super healthy super, super healthy, lean easy. yeah very easy to make so we told you on saturday we were doing 10 run 50 walk tonight it's 12 run 48 seconds walk in a little harder yeah in addition to the extra time but still we're hanging in there we're doing this thursday we'll do the pacing which we're going to share with you guys coming up yeah and that's where we're going to figure out our pace and then once we know our pace that's what we're trying to beat every week. Pretty much does it for tonight. Now we have Thursday to look forward to as far as doing our pacing. Pace, pace, pace. Now tomorrow night. It's strength training. Strength training. So we're going to do like <laughs> some weights, re yeah, like light bands. weights, resistance bands, those types of things. Maybe, you know, do some more like our upper body, that type of stuff. Yeah. Which, I mean, if you guys want to know more about what we do as far as that goes, let us know in the comments. We're more than happy to share it with you. Um, but yeah, that does it for tonight. So now we're in the car. This is day number two Going for the run today. We're gonna check out our pacing It's hard to believe that all of that will have about two feet of snow in about two days Look, we're doing laps. Yeah, so we're gonna actually go around here and we're going to do our pacing today But first we're gonna warm up. We're gonna do it the right way. We're not gonna hurt ourselves 
and we're gonna see how well we do and what our pace ends up being so that way we can get better as the weeks go on so here we go we're just gonna we're just walking right now and then we'll uh we'll get into motion we are now warmed up liz you warmed up liz it's is a little chilly liz I'm is little freezing <laughs> liz is super cold so it's way colder tonight than it was yeah. uh tuesday night however and i have no gloves like an idiot we, except for gloves we are actually dressed really well yeah uh, our core is nice and warm we're warmed up we feel good and now we're gonna go pace ourselves guys this is so exciting <laughs> finally get to like figure out what our pace is so now we get to work on it exactly so, here we go guys all right guys so liz is in front of me so liz started before me but i am almost through the first lap of the pace um i started off a little bit too hard oh there i am just past the one, one lap mark. So I've got one lap more. I'm talking to you guys <laughs> just to make sure that I'm actually carrying on a conversation because I don't want to go too hard. They say you don't want to be huffing and puffing at the end. So I think I am. And now I'm going to take a walk break. When you're pacing, they say to run and walk as many times as you need to till to complete two laps a half a mile now we're just cooling down a little bit and we'll crank back up and then we'll be done with the pace test and we'll be able to see what our what our pace is can you guys see Liz up there? She is going. Like I said, she started before me. We're about the same distance apart. She is doing awesome though. I think I got my breath back. Let's start running. The next time I check in with you, we'll be at the end of this lap. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Triumph. <laughs> Alrighty. So for my half a mile, I was at eight minutes. Eight times two is 16 plus three. I'm at a 19 minute pace. Yeah. And that's what I need to work on. Yep, and I'm, my pace is 17.82. Nice. I didn't get specific. I just rounded up. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to go up to 18, though. <laughs> I'm so, okay. like, under 18. <laughs> well, obviously, I have to get faster. Oh, we both so do. We yeah. need to get faster. But that's going to, that's the, that's where conditioning comes in, right? Oh, I yeah. think. This is our first time doing this, but I think that as we do this, we will get faster, we will get better. Yeah, yeah. plus we did skip a day to make sure that we could pace yeah. before snowmageddon. We have definitely pushed ourselves a little bit this harder. week. Yeah, but so next week, I mean, it'll be time to, I think 15 minutes run, 45 minute walk, maybe a little bit more than that, I don't know. Yeah but it's time to up the game every run. Yeah, that wraps up day two, guys. We'll see what Saturday looks like. If it's <laughs> if it's not too crazy, we may well, we go do the, a light run. Yeah, but we got the GoPro. We do. So we, take, we need to take him snowshoeing? We can. We could. Now it's time for chicken enchiladas. We'll see if snowshoeing's up next. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> could be. It is Saturday. We ran the pacer on Thursday, that 19 minute mile. And even though I've gone from freezing rain to snow to freezing rain and back to snow i am still out here trying to do this so i'm super proud of myself that the weather didn't stop me my mickey mouse pullover and i have had a really good run we did 15 45 for our intervals and like i said i'm super stoked that i was able to get out and do this before the bad snow comes up it's about 5 p.m you can see the yeah. lack yeah. Person apocalypse. I mean, Person again. like it's just now. I mean, just now. now starting to after fill five o'clock, and it's like kind of sticking to the driveway. Yeah, a little bit. You know, not and much. it's really not done anything at all. But there were this whole, you know, oh my gosh, people with snow again, and it's going to start Friday night at midnight. And then you have these other weather guessers saying that it was going to start Saturday night at midnight. So, hey, 
We could still get snow between now and Sunday. Yeah. And it could still be enough to snowshoe. Yeah, so maybe. who knows? Maybe we're going to snowshoeing tomorrow. But unfortunately, nice. for, for the purposes of this video, there's just not enough any. There's not enough snow to nope. go snowshoeing. <laughs> so, but maybe tomorrow, and that would be super yeah, cool. And super if we cool. can, we'll share it with you guys for sure. But... This does it for this video, guys. Thanks yeah. for hanging out with us today. Give the video a big thumbs up and share the video. Liz, what do they need to do? Ding the notifications bell and smash the subscribe button. Just smash it. Yeah, and until next time, get out there, have some fun, and, and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the flip, flip side. Mm -hmm.